Over the past four or five years, my next guest has drifted in and out of harness racing, but for a very good reason. We'll find out very shortly when I'm joined by Martel Maguire. Well, Martel, great to have you back in harness racing once again. As I mentioned, you've been drifting in and out of the industry, but for a very good reason. Can you tell us why? Yeah, it's good to be back. I've, um, I've been away focusing on doing a bit of teacher's aid work, so working with students with disabilities and the ones who need a little bit of extra help, so I love it. It's great. This is at Leeton, both the high school and the public school. Yes, it's great to have a bit of big kids and small kids. And also the fact that you're going to further your education so you can keep involved in the industry. Yeah, I'm going to um, look into doing a bit of a primary school teaching degree and hopefully be at the front of the classroom instead of the back. Well, it's good to see you back in harness racing and particularly back here at Club Menanga where you've enjoyed a lot of success. But first of all, before we talk about that, Still working for Dad Philip, and of course your brother Reese is still in the industry as well? Yeah, yeah. We've got a really small team down in Leeton. We've got about four or five horses in at the moment and a lot of young ones coming through. We've got uh, three weanlings in the paddock and four mares about to fall, so hopefully we've got the future of the industry coming through our stable. And just at the right time you've worn Dad's t-shirt. I have, promoting our stable. <laughs> Well, let's have a look at the facts as far as your career is concerned so far. 2012 is certainly a bad memory as far as the Maguire family is concerned. Yeah, unfortunately we had a stable fire when we were stabled at the Leeton Showground track. We lost three of our good horses and it was, it was hard to come back for that. But um, here we are today. One year later, you made a very interesting move into the galloping industry, heading off to Mount Macedon to join up with the all-conquering, powerful Lloyd Williams team. Yeah, that was a great experience. I went up to Mount Macedon for about a year and a half, and oh, it, that was an unreal experience. It was good to see the galloping side knowing the trotting side already. What is the biggest difference, as far as you were concerned, with experience in harness racing and now in the galloping industry? Um, at the stable I was at, it was probably how much work they got. They would get hand walked, ridden, dry walked, water walked, treadmilled, twice a day. What about the difference in character as far as a standard bred and a thoroughbred? Oh, I can definitely speak to that. They're a lot more wild. I, um, yeah, I actually got kicked in the head by one of the thoroughbreds I was leading and yes, broke my hand and I think they're still picking a bit of my face out of his hoof at the lodge. And Marta, you also had some success there because you were handling on occasions the 2013 Caulfield Cup winner Faulkner. Yes, yeah, so um, every strapper got a couple of afternoons off a week and when Faulkner's strapper wasn't there, I was the lady in charge. So that was good. He was a beautiful horse. After about 16 months, the call of harness racing once again dragged you back into that particular industry. It sure did. I couldn't stay away. It didn't take long before you started to enjoy success, and the success at Club and Angle certainly outstanding. 2017, the Lady Drivers Invitational, Team Tool, something you've been very proudly sponsoring for a number of occasions, but the Cray Cross Trained Epaulette, you've certainly formed a wonderful association with this particular man. Oh, I love that horse. He's by far one of my favourite horses I've driven, and I was just lucky. He was just one of those beautiful horses you could you could just lead and let him run, and he'd, he'd find the line for you. He won a Group 2 and a Group 3. Yeah, he did. I was very lucky. I, I never thought I'd ever be in a group race, and here I am. I've won a group two and a group three. And your first win here at Club Menanga was for Cardinal Rules for Michael Day Jr. Yes, that was that was a bit of a catch drive, and I'm just I'm forever grateful to them. That was oh, a highlight of my Menanga wins, yeah. My child, that was on those Sundays where we used to run the Fishers Ghost meetings, which were highly successful. That was a Blue Blood Cup. Yes, ah, oh, they were amazing meetings. They were always good fun to come. You had your races of the smallest horse and the races of the biggest horse, and yeah, it was always a good fun day out. And of course, from that particular meeting, we now have the JC Caffin Plate, which is looming once again, and that's certainly grown in stature. Yeah, it has. They have a few heats around Wagga, and if we've got a horse for it, we like to line them up for it because it's a beautiful, beautiful race for them. Hey, you're back at Club Menangle today to drive for Lawrence Dawson and you've had success and a fair bit of success for Lawrence and you drove a horse called Dawn Magic for him to success here at Club Menangle a few years ago. I did. Lawrence has been one of my biggest supporters and he's a, he's a beautiful bloke and him and his family and they've always been big supporters and, you know, he gets a good horse and he, he's happy to put you on, you know. He was just saying to us that the stable have been enjoying some success of late but he's hoping now that you're back 
and especially back in the sulky, that uh, further success is going to come his way. I don't know if I'm the secret ingredient, but we're going to hope so today. <laughs> well, Martel, great to see you back in harness racing and hopefully back driving winners, but congratulations on the career move you've made. A wonderful thing to be doing, working with all these young kids and, of course, as they get older. So a lot of success with that, but hopefully a lot of more success to come for you on the track as well. Thank you very much.